I didn't mean to! But I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! If survival is at stake, an elder sister eating her brother before he inexorably wastes away is not outside the bounds of reason. You needn't hold back, Velvet. Eat, Lafayette. No! No! Hello, you level grinding cats and dogs of YouTube land. I'm the anti hero drink, and as always, gamers, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening, and stay beautiful, you cats and dogs out there in YouTube land. So, Tales of Bisteria. This is an interesting RPG. This is probably one of the more darker installments in the stale series that I've had the enjoy and just the pleasure of actually playing. I love it when J-style RPGs are not afraid to shy away from some of the more darker elements of storytelling and this game does not do that at all. If you're a fan of the Tales series, you're a fan of their wonderfully handcrafted stories and their dedication to the traditional aspects of RPG, which is this narrative story and giving a player a motivation and a reason to get to point A to the end of the video game. And this game, this game basically delivers on that in spades. As I said before, this is a pretty dark story. And if you've seen any reviews for the game anywhere, they've all said that this story is pretty dark and it is this is definitely one of the more darker stories i've played in a j-star rpg in a while and this is definitely one of the more darker stories i've ever played in the tales game so far the obsession the obsession that turns into madness in this game is so beautifully told throughout its narrative story these small but beautiful glimpses into your character's broken psyche of the just the torment that she still endures and the hell and the hell-bent rage that she has on the revenge to her would-be adversary is so beautifully told that it is a very it can be a very emotionally driven game at some points with its storytelling there's so much that I could go talk about, but I don't want to talk about because I don't want to ruin the story for anybody. It is something that you definitely should play if you're really interested in seeing how this story plays out. And you will not be disappointed. As somebody who's played countless Tales games and has always been really impressed with their dedication to story and narrative telling, this game delivers on that promise. And it is one of the highlights of the game, which comes... Uh, which comes out in just beautiful form and it shows that the dev team behind this game really cared a lot about their narrative story, their world building, their characters, their character interactions and just how this story plays out before the player's eyes. So it is a beautiful peek into madness and obsession and just the idea and the plight of revenge and how much it hurts the person seeking it and how much they, how much how much and what they're willing to go through to go, I guess, execute it on the person who scorned or hurt them. Definitely a beautiful story. Definitely a great cast. The harem really brings out this whole entire story and this whole entire glimpse into madness beautifully throughout this game. I can't go say so much. I can only say so much about how great this story is, but it really is. And it's something you'll truly miss out on. And it's a gem of an RPG. But moving on from that aspect, this is a Tales game. This is still an RPG, so combat will definitely come up. And what I can go say about this game is it's nothing different from any of the other Tales series as far as doing certain moves or executing certain moves. You have different arts that are mapped out to your buttons on your controller, on whatever controller you're going to be using. And these arts can all be comboed and linked together. And also you can go add into them special arts moves that will do immense amount of damage. And it's just basically do, linking the best moves possible to do the biggest combos possible to do as much damage as you possibly can on an enemy. While, you know, certain attacks break certain guards and while other attacks can be blocked by certain guards. So it's really figuring out the best, I guess the best lineup of moves to go about certain enemies and some moves work better on certain enemies and other moves don't work better on certain enemies. I can't go say that I got too in too in depth with 
the combat system. Like I said, it's not nothing too different. Like, it's not a big departure from any of the other Tales games. Enough for me to go mention a lot of it or put too much thought into it. But it's pretty fun. It's an action RPG. You get control of one character, but you're allowed to go switch between your other characters. Go automatic, semi-automatic, and also give them commands. Like in your typical, like in most typical JRPGs that you expect nowadays. Um, I guess I could also go talk about the graphics for the game. The game is beautiful with its hand-drawn textures. At first, I wasn't kind of feeling it, but its beautiful charm, just the look of it, the feel of it, really gripped me and got me at later installments in the game where you can just go see the full-on beautiful environments and the sceneries. And it's just, it's a really nice game. And I'm really glad that, st that the Tales series is still sticking to what it does best and not trying to go conform to what other RPGs are now trying to go do with more realistic looks, uh, better upgraded graphics, yada, yada, yada. So many games are willing to go conform to what is popular and what is the standard where Tales has always stuck to what works for them and always highlighting their strengths. And the graphical fidelity of this game is beautiful. If you're not into the anime look, this game isn't for you. And I feel sorry for you because of that one aspect, you're really missing out on a top-notch RPG with fantastic story, interesting characters. And as I said, an art style that works for it. Yeah, that basically works for it and really brings out what is truly unique about this game. And it separates itself from what it does well. And its art style, its story, and its characters all fit within that theme. So, getting at the end of this, I would definitely recommend this game to anybody who's a fan of the Tales series. Anybody who's looking for a seriously dark RPG that has a narrative, that has a narrative calling to the more darker elements of it, definitely check out this game. Um, if you have a chance, hit it up on Steam because RPCs need more RPGs, as I said in another video. But definitely check out this game. Show some support to the love to the devs. And definitely, if you have a chance of picking it up, you should. It's a gem. It's a great RPG. And it is a fantastic way to start off 2017. Thanks for listening this long. Thanks for tuning in. I'm the Anti-Hero Drink. And as always, I'm dishing out the good news of RPGs, video games, and nerd shit in general. Peace and later, gamers. See ya. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... are one and the same. I treasured those days... when you and I... and Arthur were... Together.